I know you're concerned. I just want you to know we have everything under control. We found the source of the problem, Shane. We found it. Uh, engineer Ricky's electric blanket blew a fuse in the engineer <laughs> lounge. We fixed it, though. It's all good. <laughs> Welcome back. Clayton is down to his final two, but before he introduced his final, uh, his two finalists to his parents, he had to come clean. He had to come clean. It was billed as the rose ceremony from hell. And for once, the bachelor actually delivered on their overdramatic promo. Look. Kind of shattered into pieces at the moment. And I'm questioning everything. And really, the person that's standing in front of you right now is not the person that you were last with. What I'm about to say is not going to be easy to hear but it's gonna be very transparent and I owe it to you all. I was in love with each of you two. I am in love with both of you. And I also was intimate with both of you. <laughs> so gross. Clayton spilling all the dirty secrets and the women are stunned and so are we. It was part one of the two night bachelor finale. Clayton choosing transparency, even if it means he could end up alone forever, eaten by cats. He was able to get things back on track, or was he? We'll find out because once again, it's time for 37% of America loves Ted. Joining us from bachelor headquarters, home of engineer Ricky's electric blanket, He's Ted very, Johnson. He's very toasty right now. Is he? Do you smell smoke in there, Ted? Is everything okay? It's either his electric blanket or his coffee maker. I don't know what One of it is. How's, can I ask you, how's Leo doing? How's Director Leo okay? Leo's okay. Uh, we're, we're all emerging from our blackout. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we saw the beginning of that, Ted. I, I said in the tease, you know I don't watch this, but I read about this. It was on Twitter feeds of people that don't even like the show. How did those women take that news? Uh, not well. <laughs> not well. They, Is that the end of your segment? <laughs> they, okay, so kudos to The Bachelor for having this rose ceremony in a giant glass case, a cavern, if you will, because he tells them they both go off into their own little corners and you can hear them crying simultaneously. Oh! So she's crying over here, and then he's still standing in his at his rose platform, his rose podium, and you can hear just tears, tears, tears. He's still stunned. He can't believe. How do I clean this up? And then Gabby is off in her corner, and she's crying. A lot of tears, and it was the rose ceremony from hell. It was painful to watch, painful for him to go through it. And I just don't know why he put himself in this position to begin with. I was going to say, how is he not, how can he be surprised, Theodore? He, you know what he should have, he should have never told Susie, who is his favorite, he loves her the most. Yeah. Uh, he should have never told her what happens behind closed doors with the other women. No. Once he did that, he opened the floodgates. And now these, so now these women. Do they forgive he, him? It was like, it was a muted forgiveness. It was a, I know we signed up for this. I know, okay, all right. And, it, and Gabby said, well, okay, you love, all of, you love all of us. How are you going to know who's the right one? And he goes, well, the one I love the most. And she was like, eh, not the answer I was going for. Um, so he had to, like, nudge her along a little bit more. But eventually they met his parents. He was able to oh. convince them, suck it up a little bit, come meet my parents. And so they met his parents, and the parents loved him, and there it is. They, they met the parents. Okay, so he came, to the re he came to the revelation after they met his parents. He came to a revelation. Oh, oh you're goodness. crossing. Oh, look at your body. Your body language changed. So, okay. So he convinced them to come back to the show. He okay. convinced them, I loved her the most, but I still love you guys, and I want to explore it. So let's meet the parents. So he met the parents. And then after that, he was like, okay, but I still love Stu Susie, who, who left me. And, well, the, the parents 
said what all of America was thinking. Take a look. What I had with Susie was very, very special. And it's not to discredit what I have with Rachel or what I have with Gabby. I mean, you guys can clearly see that it's so special what I have with those women. But it just was a little bit more special with Susie. But and she didn't think so. But she, I mean, Clayton, she left you. I mean, she didn't... Mom, it's not that straightforward. No, it is. It's not. It is. You weren't there for it, and you it don't. It doesn't matter. I think that the moment became too big for the both of us. Like, I understand where she was coming from. I understand why she couldn't see past it. But I feel that, again, like, I stopped listening with Susie. It's not that she stopped. She was still talking. And I was the one that decided that, to, to, that I was done. You're grasping at straws in my mind. That's done, gone in history. How do you no know? Matter, I'm going to tell you because she made that choice to walk. Ooh. Ooh. Can I tell you, I said this to Ted off air, my favorite are like cutaway shots of mom. Oh. She is not having it. No. Dad's not having it. No. Mom's not having it. And Clayton still seems to think that Susie's going to happen despite what his parents say. No. And so Jesse Palmer comes in. <laughs> What, like a Yoda? Like an Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi? <laughs> yes. He's like, ah, I, I think they're talking about Susie. So he knocks on the door, he comes in, and he goes, Clayton, I have news for you. Susie is still in Iceland. Oh. So Susie has not left the country. So to be continued tonight, Clayton is going to try and win back Susie. <laughs> <laughs> is this now this is it right tomorrow Ted then we're done right this Tom, is tonight is it tonight is it tonight we learn if Clayton will find love or if he will be single and heartbroken forever um, Ted by the way I look behind you I think your computer is experiencing some technical difficulties as well it was a preemptive technical difficulties <laughs> if we ran into problems always prepared he is Ted Johnson everybody thank you you can watch the exciting finale of The Bachelor on another network tonight. Can I just add she's in Iceland still because she probably couldn't leave with COVID <laughs> restrictions. They're like, no, you have to do your two weeks. Shane, how dare you run, ruin the illusion? How dare you? Truth hurts. The audience is going to be so, you're ruining <laughs> The Bachelor illusion. There is no, <laughs> they don't believe anything they no, show you. She couldn't get an upgrade for her flight. She needed to stay in Iceland. Yep. God, I hate that show. <laughs>